Hello, I'm Coach Frank Alaco, and today I'd like to speak to you about the everlasting bond of teams. March 27th is a day that has a special place in my heart, as I remember the birthday of Melissa Ann Coronel, an amazing young woman who was a unifying force on one of the greatest teams I have ever coached. Our St. Agnes girls CYO basketball team was an incredible collection of hardworking kids with magnetic personalities who truly became a family as they competed with an intense spirit of love and unity. Tragically, this team experienced great loss later in life as two of our teammates, Cindy Lowe and Melissa Coronel, passed away at the beginning of young adulthood, their amazing lives cut short by tragic illnesses. Melissa lived across the street from St. Agnes School and was a constant at our outdoor practices on the schoolyard courts. It was truly a blessing to coach this team and to watch their friendship strengthening and their basketball skills developing. Their discipline, love, and sacrifice superseded their individual desires as 10 individuals truly came together to form an amazing team that made their mark in Northern California girls youth basketball. I remember Melissa so vividly as a stabilizing force with her intensity and selfless attitude, earning the love and admiration of her teammates while her talent and skills contributed to the unparalleled success of our team. Upon graduation from St. Agnes, she joined several of her teammates on the basketball team at Carondelet High School. Her sharp shooting skills and her intuitive leadership led to success at the high school level, with their team contending in postseason play each year. After high school, Melissa attended Dominican University of California, then married Giovanni Luna and moved to Texas. She was so excited to settle down and enjoy her new family life in the Southwest. Several years later, I received a phone call from Lexi Brown Ravarino, one of her best friends and teammate on the special Fighting Irish teams. As her voice broke, she sadly informed me that Melissa had died of a massive blood infection. This unbelievable news broke the hearts of her loved ones as her illness had progressed rapidly, taking her promising life at the age of 27. Her solemn church service, conducted just a few hundred feet from the outdoor courts where she had grown and bonded with her coaches and teammates, was filled with stunned family and friends who struggled to understand this sudden and shocking loss. 13 years later, Melissa's mother called me and she asked if my wife and I, her two former coaches, could attend a celebration of her daughter's life on March 27th, the date that would have been her 40th birthday. When the day arrived, we parked in the cul-de-sac and we walked toward the sidewalk that led into her home. I remembered the countless times I had seen Melissa briskly leave this front door on the short walk across the street for practice on those tiny outdoor courts of St. Agnes. My spirits were brightened with the thought of her huge smile and her enormous heart that embraced and warmed her teammates on good days and bad. Her loving home was vibrant. It was overflowing with relatives and many of her teammates from their glorious elementary school years. After an hour of visiting and reminiscing, her mother invited me to visit Melissa's bedroom. Her room was a journey into our past. There were photos of family and friends and several plaques and ribbons from the many league playoff and tournament titles that we had won. And there on the end of her nightstand was a framed version of My Girls, a poem that I had written and given to the girls after one of our most remarkable and compelling victories. 
as I picked up that gold frame, I was transported back to the tiny indoor court at Stanley School in Lafayette, where our team fell behind for one of the few times that year. I thought of the special timeout that I called when our team trailed by 11 points with five minutes and 30 seconds to go in the tournament championship game. I was inspired by their intensity that day as I knelt on the wooden floor and begged our team to make stops as we could not allow another basket. And as my excitement grew, their arms locked together in love, the tightening our circle, their symbolic commitment to each other, speaking so much louder than my words. I remembered the amazing feeling in that huddle, the trust, the deepness in Melissa's intense eyes, her head nodding, she and her teammates leaning on every word as I challenged them to give more. This remarkable band of sisters eagerly left that huddle with a sense of urgency that demanded every loose ball and every rebound. Their incredible love, loyalty, and talent manifested itself in a, in a defensive wall that stymied our opponent and led to a 13-0 finish and an amazing two-point victory. My nostalgic trip through time was interrupted by her mother's voice as she continued the tour of the many mementos that framed Melissa's amazing life. It was clear that St. Agnes CYO was an essential part of her foundation, that she had treasured the experience and was proud of her team and her own significant accomplishments. As I entered the family room, it was clear that there was no room for sadness tonight as young relatives ran through the house playing and laughing while the adults reminisced in an endless supply of special treasured memories. As darkness approached, this loving mixture of teammates, family and friends respectfully gathered on the court outside their home. Her mother asked me to share some thoughts. And as my voice cracked with emotion, I mentioned how unique Melissa and her teammates were as they established themselves as one of the finest girls CYO teams in the history of the East Diablo CYO League. I spoke of the incredible standard they had set, how all of the talented boys high school teams I had coached aspired to measure up to them as they attempted to mimic the intensity and the togetherness of this remarkable team. I concluded my thoughts that night, stating that every action of this team was based on love and friendship. They played for each other. They worked hard for each other and they never did anything to let each other down. Regardless of the happiness of victory or the sadness of defeat, the one constant was their overwhelming commitment to each other. They were the epitome of togetherness at 13 years old, the embodiment of what every team should be. And here we were, 27 years later, Still a team, middle-aged mothers gathering to honor a fallen friend and beloved teammate on her birthday. Despite the passage of time, we remain eternally committed to her memory, appreciative of her life, and grateful for the impact she had on the lives of everyone she touched. It is without question that the success of the St. Agnes team was not their abilities. It was the love, loyalty, and commitment they had then and continue to live today that truly sets them apart. 
each family member, friend, and teammate honored Melissa's birthday that night by releasing one of 40 green and gold balloons. Our eyes looked upward as we watched them floating, gently drifting, each one weaving their path on a celebratory journey toward the heavens. And as I watched them rise above us, I could, I could feel the commitment, the strength, and the power of that green and gold huddle once again. Love surrounded, and it energized all of us gathered there that evening in the unifying spirit of Melissa as we joined together becoming her team once again. This year marks the 20th anniversary of her passing. The inspiration of Melissa's life teaches us to recognize not only the fragility of our own existence, but to appreciate the beauty of our lives. Despite the pain and sadness that we all experience with loss, we are challenged to celebrate and cherish our memories, live the lessons that were left for us, and move forward comforted in knowing the undying spirit of our loved ones lives in the hearts of all they have touched. Keep listening, keep learning, and strive to be your best. And remember, excellence doesn't take days off.